setting your heart unto God will help you to overcome your fear and anxiety. Why? I believe because you will have fear more on God, meaning you will trust God more and more. And sometimes if you have fear and sorrow in your heart, I believe that is the sign or great opportunity to set your heart totally unto God. In Psalms chapter 86 verse 11, it says that teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk and live in your truth. Direct my heart to fear your name. Fearing on God will strengthen your heart to defeat the enemy which is Satan and you will defeat your flesh as well and you will be living in truth. Fearing on God will widen your hearts so that you will understand the people why they are committing sins instead of living in truth. This is the problem. One of the reasons why many people are not afraid of doing the wrong things and committing sins may be because they do not fear God. And sometimes people have a hardened heart that could result into a rebellious heart that they will complain most of the time and instead of fearing God and making a good solution. In Proverbs chapter 4 verse 23 it says that guard your heart above all else for it determines the course of your life. All the tests in your life it starts in your heart. That's why you can definitely teach your heart especially by doing the good things and doing the right things in the sight of God and by the guidance of the Holy Spirit. And you can do that when your heart especially is protected and your heart is always filled with love, peace that is coming from God. In 1 John chapter 2, verse 24, it says there that as for you, let that remain in you. Keep in your hearts that the message of salvation which you have heard from the beginning. If what you heard from the beginning remains in you, you too will remain in the Son and in the Father forever. You have to understand deeply the message of the cross and the teaching of Jesus Christ so that you will have enough courage to defend your faith and to share the salvation to others. You, the truth is, when you understand the deeper meaning of the cross and the teaching of Jesus Christ, this will help you to become an effective servant of God and you will desire more to save souls. Make it your goal to share the message of salvation of Jesus Christ. I believe this will exercise your confident faith in your heart, especially if you truly understand the message of the cross of Jesus Christ. For sure, if you understand it, your heart for God will grow more and more when you keep holding also and continuously learning about the truth 
of Jesus Christ. One of the good example, listening to the Bible, if you have a mobile phone, you can download any Bible application in your phone and you can connect your phone in any Bluetooth speaker or in your car while you are driving or while you are cooking. Listening to the Bible will help you to develop your confident faith, especially if you are listening the four Gospels, the Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. You can seek happiness in this world, but it won't last. But the truth is, you can live in true happiness by seeking God first. In Psalms chapter 69 verse 32, it says there is that the humble have seen it and are glad. You who seek God, requiring Him as your greatest need, let your heart revive and live. In New King James, it says there that the humble shall see this and be glad. And you who seek God, your hearts shall live. And in order to live your heart with full of gladness, you seek God as your greatest need. I repeat, you seek God as your greatest need. When you are seeking God, you will also set your heart unto Him. I believe seeking God is also seeking His promises that is very important in our life. I believe the promises of God is one of line of defense against the enemy which is Satan and the promises of God will help you to force you your godly desires and the truth is when you set your heart unto God and his promises this is the one will make you as a better Christian and you will get matured spiritually.